EHR has impacted everything that I do on a daily basis, both with and without my patients, meaning when I'm doing all the behind the scenes work. Um, and I say it is for better or for worse. It allows me to see a lot more patients than I otherwise would be able to see, but it means that when we, when we have to rely on these systems, they have to be there and they have to be ready for us. And they have to work at the speed at which we're accustomed to them working. If I set up a certain workflow and process through my department and then the EHR can't keep up on a certain day, then everything kind of grinds to a halt. As a radiation oncologist specifically, there are very specific things that I need from an EHR that other specialties might not necessarily need. Things like all of the daily images that are, that are obtained through treatment, I have to review and approve those every day, um, which obviously creates a lot of volume that has to move uh, through the system, both from the data and, and in imaging standpoint, and it has to do it quickly. So I'm able to review and approve images daily, hourly, several times an hour to make sure my patients are being treated accurately. Um, and then I also, our therapists need to use the EHR to make sure that we're doing what we want to be doing. So the radiation dose that we want to be delivered is actually what's happening on the machine on a daily basis. The issue is we have so many different tasks that we have to do throughout the day, and we have to do those many, many times. If there's a small delay with a task that might not seem like much, when you end up doing that task 30, 40, 50 times in a day, if it is just a two or three minute delay, that ends up becoming a much bigger deal. With we doctors, all we have to offer is our time. So if we have nine hours a day that we're at work and my efficiency has improved by 30%, suddenly I have a couple more hours to be able to get more work done. Well, the most important thing for us in radiation oncology is we have a specific uptime percentage that the AHR has to have um, but we physicians all know how frustrated we get with the product, so unfortunately we'd have to say provider frustration with an EHR has to be one of the metrics that we do use. Um, ability to be able, and this isn't an incredibly measurable metric, but ability to get the information out of the system that I want in a timely manner for when I'm seeing patients is also very, very important. These, these were all supposed to have been designed with interoperability, so they are all supposed to be able to talk with one another. And that was one of the big grants the government gave to the company was to allow them to do that, but we haven't seen that yet. So when I open up a patient on one EHR, I have to go through and I have to open up that same patient on all the different EHRs. And if I do one thing on one, it doesn't translate over to the other. So if I were the EHR czar, I'll say that because it rhymes, I guess, I would, I would allow all of these systems to talk with one another, all of these systems to share data with one another, which would help reduce the amount of repeat things we would have to do. Being able to maintain a very strong focus on efficiency will, will really help um, any doctor use the product, will help any companies get the purchase of doctors or get the interest from them um, because they know that small problems with efficiency can lead to big problems by the end of the day. With a laser-like focus, really pay a lot of attention to the end user experience, meaning how does a physician use the system? How do nurses use the system? How do nurse practitioners or a radiation therapist use the system? We physicians and other providers really talk a lot about wanting to have a provider-specific interface that focuses on what we need to do from a clinical standpoint first and keeps all the billing stuff kind of in the background. It shouldn't take physicians saying we're gonna buy a different product for a company to realize they're doing away with the most valuable part of their system. So more end user testing in, in, in the front would really help providers buy into a product because again, it's efficiency and speed that we really need. And most of these don't seem to be designed with that really in mind. From an EHR standpoint, what I would like to see are predictive algorithms that help me deal with all of the tasks that have to happen on a patient to go from me seeing them in consultation all the way down through to being done with treatment and then moving on afterwards. And the way that we do things to try to standardize them from a safety standpoint is try to do things more or less the same for every patient as far as how we get them through the system.